Hello, my name is Zach Hoover, and this is my final video for Deliverable 7 for Mate Course for, at the University of South Florida. This is my useless machine project. Here's my block diagram, which shows the order of events that occur when a switch is hit and how the Arduino operates in order to re reset the switch to starting. This is an updated version of my circuit diagram, which will be used for uh, people who are trying to replicate this project through the, my Instructable. Here is my final version of my assembly. I've made some minor changes to the way the, the base plate rotates around. I have also updated the actuating arm that pushes the arms up so it can hit the switches. In total, the base can rotate about 60 degrees and the arm length has been modified so that it can support a variety of box shapes that people may create through the instructable. Here is the final version of my useless machine. As you can see, when I hit the switch, the arm will come out, turn to hit the switch that was pressed forward, and it will do this for any of the switches. It will even handle multiple switches being hit at the same time. And it will hit all of these switches before returning inside of the box. So here's the top view of the machine. This servo here will rotate this pink base. This servo right here will actuate this arm back and forth to hit the switches. And this servo over here will lift up the lid to allow the arm to come out and hit the switch. So to see it in action, and it goes through the same process no matter which switch is hit. Here's a close-up of the inside of my box. As you can see, the switches are laid out in the short lid and the mechanisms are all inside of the main box. And you can also see the additional servo I added onto the lid. Here's a close-up of that. You can see I mounted the Arduino Mega to the wall so I would have more space inside. Here's a close-up of the inlay job I did onto the switch. I will be showing this in the Instructable so people can replicate it. And this is a close-up of the servo I added to the lid and how to get it to operate. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my project.